opposite about 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 x axis and that's why in a definition we've said the solid of revolution is a solid uh, that is obtained that means the solid that is left by rotating a plane figure that means this is our plane figure we are trying to rotate it about x axis that is why we have the definition like that so we are going to find the volume of that solid of revolution from point a to point b from point A to point B. Now consider the following. Consider you have a very small change. A very small change in X axis. And this could form a rectangle. And that let's say is a small change of X. And that is the height of our, of our rectangle. And this is, we can approximate it as a rectangle. And we can evaluate those strips. That is to say we are going to have, we are going to evaluate the value of Hey, uh, uh, the value of the width of that at this point in a small change of x. That means the value of x now, we are going to place it there. Let's say we are going to have f of x sub 1. Now, how are we going to find that volume of the volume of, of that rectangle as it is rotated about x axis? As it is rotated about x axis. We know that the formula to find the volume of Something like that is uh, is pi is pi r square times h, and remember our d x the small change in x that is our height I'm trying to talk about, and our radius will be the f of x one. That means this will be your, your, uh, your radius. This will be your radius. Now uh, you will have the following. That is to say you have the pi and you will multiply with that. That is your radius. That is f of x1. That is squared. Times what? Times the small change in x. That will be d, dx. This will be the volume. Now remember, this is just one strip. These are called strip. This is just one strip. That small rectangle is called a strip. This is just one strip. Now we have to sum the strips from there that I uh, try to assume that this place is divided into small strips. That means you have to sum the strips from, let's say, uh, when uh, uh, if we call the strips is i, the first one up to the last one that you can say i equals to n. That means in order for you to have the sum of that volume of revolution, you are going to sum the following the first strip, the second one, the third one, up to n, up to n. That will be the following. Will be uh, the summation from i is equal to 1 to n. That means n will denote your last strip. Of what? Of the volume of each and every strip that you are going to have. That is to say we have a pi, then a pi multiplied by f of x i because i will be changing as you know will be the values of x and then and that will denote different types uh, different values of the height as we go on this will be squared and this uh, will be multiplied all of those will be multiplied by d of x now uh, we know that pi comes out of sigma notation as we did in the last session so we have the pi we know that pi is a constant times what the sigma notation uh, to that point and then we have f of x i and all of that is squared raised to x now if we try to add those it's the same as saying uh we are trying to add from x is equal to a to x is equal to b and that is to say the volume of that by the use of integration methods we know that the volume now will be uh, equal to what? If you try to find the summation of those points, that means it will be the integral uh, from point A to point B times pi of what? In brackets is f of x square dx. So this will be the formula that will be used to find the volume of sorry of revolution uh, from point A to point B uh, uh, if the function is f of x and uh, res with respect to d of x. This will be the formula that we'll be using.
Okay, now uh, as I've said earlier that I can show you the video. Now we have the function that is y is equal to the under root of x. Now this uh, graph we shall uh, bind this by two, uh, two, 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 two functions and that one will be the first one and the second one will be this one that will be shown shortly. Now we have that graph that is y is equal to 1 of 10 of x, that is our graph. And then after that we have the x that binds that volume there. So we have a 4. And you can see the shaded area there is the volume I'm trying to talk. And you can see it rotates. As we rotate that, that means we are trying to have the f of x in different positions. But as you can understand, we cannot find the volume as it is all. That means we are trying to, uh, we are going to try to, uh, to divide it into very small strips. And then after that, I will show you how it will look like. Now let's see. As you can see, we have taken one of the strips and that is the small change I was talking about. That is a d of x. And then after that, we shall have the radius. As you can see there, from the point inside up the circumference is the f of x I'm trying to talk. That means uh, you will have those two. That means that f of x is evaluated when we have the small change of x that was d of x. That is to say, after that, we sum from the first point of the strip up to the last point. That means from the first limit to the last limit. That is A to B, and that will be your volume of devolution. Now, let's see the few examples on how we can find the uh, solid, the volume of solid of evolution. Now, let's check example number one. And we have the example number one that says, find the volume of solid of evolution in the first quadrant. That means in this question, it's very, very easy. You have been told it is in first quadrant. As you know, we have four quadrants. And then this one is in first quadrant. And it's bounded by the graph that is f of x is equal to 4 minus, uh, minus x square. And the coordinates axis, that means the coordinate axis from x axis and y axis, by rotating it about, first case, it will be rotated in x axis and the second case it will be rotated in uh, in y axis now i will show you the sketch on how that will look like then you will find how it is very very easy to do but before showing the sketch how do we get that sketch let's see how do we get that sketch Our function is f of x equals to 4 minus x square. We know when we are trying to sketch, first of all, we have to find the, uh, the x-intercepts and the y-intercepts. And how do we do that? Now we find the x-intercept when uh, we can say when x is equal to 0. That is to say you are going to find the y-intercept. Then y equals to what? Our x equal to 0. That is uh, it is it, uh, x equals to 0, equals to what? Then it will be a 4 minus a 0, that is uh, y will be equal to 4. That means our y-intercept is 4. Now, when y equals to 0, that means this part equals to 0, then we are going to have a 4 minus x square equals to 0. It implies, actually. Now, Let's find the value of x. That means it will have, we have uh, uh, x square equals to negative 4. That is x square equals to 4. That means x equals to plus or minus 2. Plus or minus 2. That means we have two x intercepts. We have two x intercepts. We have the negative one and then we have the positive one. Now, uh, if we try to sketch that very easy, I will show you the sketch. We have, this is our y axis. And this is our x-axis. Now, our x-intercept, we have a negative 2 and a positive 2. That means we have a negative 2 there and a positive 2. But also we have a y-intercept that is 4. That means it's somewhere there. This is just a sketch. I will show you the, the, the graph. That is to say the graph turns like that. It's just a sketch, actually. I will show you how the graph looks like. Now, this is how we look like. And that is to say, in our question, we have been told to find 
when it is rotated uh, when uh, in the x axis and then after that we shall find when it is rotated about y axis now let's see the graph now this is how the graph will look like this is how the graph will look like as a u as a way of uh, obtained there but also I, I obtained that and put it for you now this is rotated around x axis this is just the first case and that is to say we have the small change in x and then after that we shall have the function evaluated at that point and then after that we shall find the volume of revolution but remember the question said the function f of x is equal to 4 minus x square and the coordinate that means this binds this function that is to say we are trying to look for the volume of revolution of this part here not the other part just this part that is to say uh, that's what we are going to to look for now let's see we have a very small change now this is our graph that is f of x equals to 4 minus x square and this is the very small change i was talking about now this is your dx that is your dx and this is your function this is your function and then you are going to evaluate from zero because the area that you've been told is in the first quadrant and this is the first quadrant the second one the third one as you know the third one and that is the fourth so let's see how will it look like we know that the volume is found by the following formula that is pi and then the integral of what uh, of f of x all of that is squared with respect to x from a to b that's what we are we're trying to look for that is to say our limits now our a will be a zero and our b will be two now let's see we have pi from zero to two then the function what is the function the function is 4 minus x square so we have 4 minus x square and all of that according to the formula is squared then to that this is very very easy for you so let's do it so we have a pi and then if we try to, uh, to expand that from 0 to 2 that will be 16 then this times that is 4x times 2 is 8x square. Then this one repeats itself. That means it will be plus x raised to 4. And that is raised to uh, times that thing. Then let's uh, try to integrate that. It will be a pi. Then a 16x minus. It will be 8. 8 x raised to 3 over 3 plus x raised to 5 over, over 5 and all of this is from 0 to 2. Now let's evaluate that. Let's evaluate that. Now uh, placing the values of x we have a pi. There we have a 16 times 2 minus 8 over 3 2 raised to 3 plus there is uh, 2 raised to 5 over 5 now you have to evaluate that we are supposed to subtract with when this is multiplied by the whole uh, uh, is uh, when 0 is placed there and when 0 is placed there but we know that this will be 0 that's why uh, I've just uh, leave it somewhere there that is to say pi uh, this will be uh, 32 minus this is 8 and uh, 2 raised to 3 is 8 and that is 64 over 3 plus that will be uh, 32 2 raised to 5 is 32 over 5 and then the answer that you will obtain from this part will be the volume of revolution now let's check it by the use of our calculator and practice the good use of calculators now we have 32 minus minus 64 over 3 
then plus 32 over 5. The answer I have obtained is the volume could be uh, I have 17 1 over 15 that is pi cubic units. Don't forget to write like that, cubic units, because this is the volume. So we, are, uh, we expect the units to be cubed. We expect the unit to be cubed. Now, that is how we find the volume of revolution if it is rotated about x-axis. What if it is rotated about y-axis? Let's check it. Now, uh, we did find the volume when the graph or when the function was rotated around x-axis. What will happen if we rotate the function around y-axis? Around y -axis? Now, let's see. This was our sketch of that graph. And let's see. Now, if we rotate our, our sketch around the, around the y-axis, that means it's rotating that way. At the first time, it was rotating around x-axis. By now, it is rotating around y-axis. That is to say, our small change will be in that. That, that means we are going to have a, a, our small change, that is dy. And our, uh, that is our, 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 our height. And that is to say, uh, our radius will be x. That is the, the, the function evaluated in that form. That is to say, uh, let's have that y equals to 4 minus x square. We want to have the function uh, in that form. That is, we can make the subject of x. That is going to be uh, x square equals to 4 minus y. And then we have x equals to the under root of 4 minus why? Because we have, so we have to evaluate that thing there. It will be like that. Now, uh, remember, when we are looking for the intercepts, that was a zero, we know the origin, up to that point. That is to say, uh, our volume of revolution now will be found by the formula we know it, the integral from A to B of the function squared. Yeah. But our function now, our function now is our function now uh, is in terms of y. So how will it look like? It will be the volume equals to pi from 0 to 4, from 0 to 4, and our function now is this one. So it is 4 minus y, oh, sorry, 4 minus y, all of that is under root. And that is, now we don't have no more uh, dx, but we have a dy. That will be the change in dy. But remember that is a square. Don't forget that. Now we have to evaluate that. And how will it look like? Let's check it. So uh, up to that point, and then this will be a 4 minus y. If you try to square that, that means the under root and 2 will go. That is, we are left with dy, I know you know how to change the limits, and then we were uh, summing from 0 to 2. Now we are summing from 0 to 4. That means the strips are divided that way. At that time, the strips were divided uh, that way. Now let's see. If you try to integrate that, it's a pi. Oh. Inside the bracket, it will be a 4y minus y square over 2 from 0 to 4. And how will it look like again? It will be a pi, 4, then times 4, minus y square, that is 4, that is squared, over 2. That is to say, we have pi, 16, and then there is 16 divided by 2, it's 8. And if you try to subtract that, it will be 8 pi cubic cubic uh, cubic units that is the volume when that sketch or when that 
uh, graph or when that uh, function is rotated around around the y-axis and the limits will be from 0 to 4. So that is how we look like. We look like. Now let's see the next example. As the example says, using the method of solid of revolution, prove that the volume of a sphere is of r uh, of the sphere of radius r is 4 uh, over 3 pi r cubic. Now consider the following. Consider consider you have something like that and you have uh, a sphere that is in the first quadrant let's say uh, uh, let's say uh, this is a part of a sphere because we know a sphere uh, is ha can be divided into four quadrants but let's uh, have something like that and then we shall rotate this to form a, a hemisphere and then after that we shall multiply that hemisphere by two so that we can have the whole the whole uh, the whole sphere now let's consider that we have something like that in the first quadrant and let's say we have that has a radius r as we have been told and that radius r and this point let's say is x comma y that means this is y axis and that is uh, x axis and that is the first quadrant and what do we have again here we have if we try to look that much careful that distance there is x and that distance there is y so by Pythagoras theorem we can say r square equals to what equals to equals to x square plus y square so our r could be what uh, let's try to uh, use the function as in y square will be equal to what r square minus x square so our function could be like this r square minus x square and all of that is in under root form so that will be our function that will be our function now uh, what is our small change in something like that let's have a small change there that will be a, uh, will be a small change in x and that will be f of x. So we'll evaluate at that point and then this will be. And what will be our limit? And what will be our limit? Our limit will be, as we know, the distance from that point to that point is equal to uh, x. But this is a radius because it is a circle. Because it is a, so that means it's a radius. That means our limits will be from 0 to r. Our limits will be from 0 to r. Now let's check it out. We know that the volume of solid of revolution is found by this formula from a to b f of x all of that is squared the x that is to say uh, pi and we shall start from uh, uh, from from zero to r and our function is that one so we have the under root of r square and as x square and all of that is squared to x so that is how it will look like now let's see it will be a pi from 0 to r if you try to do that it will be r square x square that is with respect to x now let's check it out let's uh, uh, try to manipulate that how will it look like it will be a pi that will be r square x if you try to, to, to integrate that, will be a, 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 and then minus x raised to 3 over 3, something like that. And these limits will be from 0 to, to r. And now let's plug those. It will be a pi. It will be a pi over what? Uh, if you plug it there, it will be r raised to 3 minus r raised to 3 over 3. If you put a 0, then it will be a 0 to the whole expression. Now, let's see. It will be a pi. If you try to subtract that, I do hope this multiplied by that point, it will be a 2 r cubed. 2 r cubed over 3. That is to say, the volume now will be 2 over 3 pi 
are cubed. Now this volume we've obtained, as we know that, is the volume of the semi uh, uh, semi uh, uh, hemisphere. The volume, as we know, it will be the volume of the hemisphere. Now we want the volume of the whole sphere. Now the volume of the whole sphere, that means this must be multiplied by 2. And how do we do that? Let's multiply that by 2. So we have the volume 2. So we have 2 over 3 pi r cubed. That is to say we have a 4 over 3 pi r cubed. That is the volume. And that is how we show the question like that. We have been told by using the solid of revolution prove that the volume of the sphere of radius r and our sphere was that one of radius r is 4 over 3 pi raised to 3 and we have used these steps as I was explaining to show that the volume is equal to that thing. Okay now uh, let's check the next example is example number 3 and find the volume of the of revolution formed when the area uh, bound by the area remember that the area bound by uh, the region x is equal to y square plus 3 and uh, we have x is equal to minus or negative y square plus 5 is rotated through 2 pi is rotated through 2 pi uh, radians about y axis just remember that and then remember it's rotated about 2 pi radians that is 3 sixth and that is the area that means the area bounded by that i know you have uh, been doing how uh, the, to find the, the you have been doing uh, on how to find the volume or the area between two circle two caves sorry between two caves so we are going to rotate that area you have been looking for and see what will happen and see what will happen and remember from that point, you have to find the x-intercept, the y-intercept, and then you sketch it. And then after you sketch it, you will see that where uh, are we talking about and what really we are trying to talk about. I will show you the sketch. Now, this is the sketch. This is the sketch I'm trying to talk about. And I will show you how it, uh, we, we, we are going to end up with such a sketch. And then after that, we shall find the area to uh, that. That means this area is rotated uh, 2 pi, that means it's rotated, let's say, along that line there uh, in 360 degrees. That means it rotates 360 degrees. And the volume that we are going to look is that thing there. Now let's check it out and let's see how those two functions form that point there. Let's see it. So we have two functions. We have two functions, and our function is x equals to uh, equals to y square plus three, and we have x equals to negative y square plus five. Now let's find the limits. And how do we find the limits? And let's find the x-intercept and the y-intercept, and from there we can find the limits and obtain. Now uh, let's see. These two equations are equal. That means we can equate and get the value of y. Uh, let's check it out and we shall have the following. We shall have uh, y square plus 3 equals to negative y square plus 5. And that is to say if we collect like terms, we are going to have the following. We are going to have a y square plus y square equals to what? Equals to, equals to. This goes to that side equals to 5 minus 3, that is 2y square equals to 2. Uh, dividing that, we are going to have a 1. And then y equals to plus or minus, if you try to find the under root of that. So these are our points of intersections. These are the points of intersections. So if these are the points of intersections, and then you can find the y-intercept and x-intercept and try to sketch those graphs. These were the point of intersection. Now uh, you can find uh, the x-intercept and let's say this is uh, f1 and this is f2. 
That means this is function number one and that is function number two. Let's find the x-intercept function number one and if there is y-intercept and let's check it, how will it look like? Let's check it. So we have for function number one, that is x equals to x equals to negative y square plus five. What are we going to have uh, when x equals to zero, it implies that y square equals to five and then y equals to plus or minus five. I think it's just uh, uh, plus or minus and out of five, sorry. That means it's about two point something because we know that two square is equal to four. That means uh, the and out of five is just two point something. That means we can sketch somewhere there. And let's have when y equals to zero, that is to say, we are going to put a zero there and then we have x equals to five. That means this is the x axis. This function number one will cut the x axis at the point where x equals to five. Now let's check the function number two. That is, that is x equals to y square plus three. So uh, when x equals to zero, that is to say, y equals to what? y equals to uh, y square, okay? When x equals to zero, what are we going to have? We're going to have a y square plus three equals to zero, then a y square equals to negative three. And we know that uh, this will be a complex number. Uh, will be a complex number. That means uh, y intercept does not exist. Does not exist. What about uh, uh, about x intercept? Now when y equals to zero, what follows when y equals to zero? When y equals to zero, that means you are going to plug the zero, that is to say x equals to three. That means we have x intercept. We have x intercept. And if you try to sketch that, you will end up having, you end up having a graph like that. You end up, this was the two point I was talking about somewhere uh, on the first graph, the two point on positive side and the negative side, and the x intercept was five, and I have obtained a five somewhere there. And we have the second graph that was that way. That was, uh, we didn't have the, we didn't find the, 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 we didn't have the value of y intercept. It was, uh, it doesn't exist. So it's not there as you can see. And we have the value of x intercept that is three. Now we have to find the volume that is formed between these two graphs. That means we have to find the volume of that minus the volume of that, the first graph minus the volume of the second graph. Then we subtract the two and then we have the function. Now let's see. But remember, our limits will be in y. That is to say in that form. So we know that the volume of revolution is found by that formula from A to B. But remember, in our example here, we have two functions. That means we have the first function and the second one. And we have seen from the sketch that in order to find the volume of that, we have to take the first minus the second one. And now let's see, we have, that means that is square, the first one, minus uh, when the second one is squared, the second one, they're all squared and then times dx, that will be the volume. Present. Now let's check it. Let's do it. That means it's pi. Now our limits is from, as we have seen from the sketch, if you try to look that much careful, it will be from negative one to positive one. And our graphs are in a very good form. That means we don't need to change anything. That will be um, negative y square plus five. This is a squared minus, uh, we have y square plus three. And all of that is squared, but all of this, it will be integrated in respect to y because our limits are in y and then 
and our change our small change in y as you can see there is from negative one to one let's check it so be very careful there when you try to open those so it will be uh, the integral from negative one to one there we have we have a y raised to four and then what next we have uh, this and that uh, negative y times that is times 2 is 10 y square plus 25 minus all of that will be y raised to 4 plus uh, y and that is a 60 if you take this and that you multiply y square plus times 3 uh, times 2 that is 6 plus 9 and remember all of this will be integrated with respect to y let's use that part to do that mathematics so we have a pi this is volume remember so we have let's collect like terms first to one from negative one to one of what this is negative 10 square and that is negative 6 square that means collecting those is negative 16 what negative 16 y square and we have a positive 25 and a, minus, a negative 9 then collecting that is plus 16 with respect to y and let's see is pi and we can take that 16 out so it can come out there and then what are we going to be left with we're going to be left with the uh, that thing so uh, this can be 1 minus y square with respect to y that is 16 pi let's integrate that it will be y minus y raised to 3 over 3 from negative 1 to 1 and let's try to find that let's try to find that that means plugging these values there and that uh, negative 1 and subtract it will be 1 minus 1 over 3 if we try to put a uh, small brushes there minus what negative 1 minus negative 1 but that is raised to 3 over 3 so uh, be very very careful my dear student on how you can manipulate those parts because it is on those parts where you miss the answers now it is 16 by then if you try to subtract that uh, very careful there, it will be a 2 over 3 minus. Uh, let's simplify that. Uh, this will be negative and that will be. A, so it will be a negative. Negative 1 plus 1 over 3. And that means there will be a negative. Negative 2. Negative 2 over, over 3. And if negative and negative goes, that is to say we are going to have a 16 pi, then 4 over 3. That means our answer will be 64, uh, 16 times 4 over 3. This will be cubic units. So this is how we find the volume of the evolution that is found uh, that is bound by those two functions now let's see uh, some few questions here that i'll be leaving for you uh, i'll be leaving you to calculate or to manipulate for example here we have the first one that uh, it says obtain the integration uh, by integration the formula for the right circular cone uh, of radius r and height h and they consider the area enclosed by that is y is equal to h over r x and y is equal to h so please try to find that and have that formula and the second example says find the volume of solid of evolution actually this second one is very simple of solid of evolution generated by rotating the curve y is equal to x square between y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 4 
about the x-axis. So the second one is very, very simple. Even the first one is very simple, but it needs you uh, to think a little bit more. The third one th says, find the volume of solid of evolution generated by a gener uh, uh, the solid of evolution for the region in the first quadrant bounded by the graph of y is equal to the cube root of x, the x-axis. And now here, the limits were stated and the uh, uh, function was stated y is equal to cube root of x, the x-axis and the line x is equal to 8. So please remember those and those are the very basic hints for you to do. And this is rotated about what? First, it's rotated about x-axis and the second time is rotated around in the line x is equal to 8. So these are very few questions, very, very few questions. There are a lot of questions, as I always say. There are a lot of questions, not only these. So please find those questions and do them. And I assure you, you have, you'll have very good performance. Now, my dear students, I will leave you there today. I do hope you have made uh, a lot of revisions as I was explaining the, this subtopic. So please keep on practicing as you know you are still students, as I always say. Please over please behave and I assure you, you will succeed in your life. Bye bye. Kipindi cha darasa online kimeletwa kwenu na chuo kikuu cha sauti Mbeya. Sanda Records. Wajo kuzangu. <laughs> Wala usiniogope. Nimekuja najua mna mengi sana nataka kunieleza yanayoendelea katika taifa hili tukufu la Tanzania. Sio tumekumbuka kitamo miaka mingi nimeshapita umetuachia mifano mpaka leo tunaifata si uli lefta muungano na ikaitwa Tanzania amani yetu na mshikamano mpaka leo twajivunia ukoloni uko pangu wa rushwa ukachukia mwenge tukanyanyua ukaleta ujamaa na kuvunja ukabila asante babu Toka miaka tisini nyuma Hata wale walo kufata Wameifanya nchi imesi mamai Na iyo Babu Na iyo na kesho Henye mafwani kio kwa watanzania Na iyo na kesho Henye maini leo tunakaribia Wale Tunakukumbuka Wale mbaba yetu Tunakushukuru Kwa mema uliofanya Kwa watanzania Kwa mema uliofanya Tunajivunia Asante Tunitua mkumbuka Doa lole tafusa Akatupa na ruksa Kwa magenge maruka Alhaji wetu baba Ariruhusu vya shala zifanyike Mungu wa kuweke vema kwa kulilinda taifa la watu wote Kabla babu jaundoka, limu wache benja mbini mkapa Kajenga uwanja wa soka, na daraja la lufiji Babu, alipigania uchumi wetu na vitu mbali mbali Uona tuajifumia viongozi wetu Kiko talinyanyua sana michezo Na wigu wakatanua tumefika vikezo Tuleza kata abuku wanabuku wapamepata Walimu wanajifunia hatuna waba Majibara bara pia sante ya kaya Babu tunaye baba na itua magufuli Kauli ya kea paka Asiye ifata tapata tabu 
Ujanja ujanja kuna tena Hapa kazi kwa kila mtu Judi zake tunaziona Kwa miundo mbinu na afya zetu Hey yeah Nchime yeah. pamwa vizuri Najoni pombe magufuli Mchapa kazi hodari Kiongozi machachari Wale viongozi wa uongo na mafisadi Wote katumbua Juni pombe anarongo rongo Uongozi joni anaujua Shukuru Kwa mema uliofanya Kwa watanzania Kwa mema uliofanya Tunajigunia Asante Si ulitaka Tanzania Iwe kama Toronto Ule mlado wa stiglas koji siyo tena ndoto Asquizi, akisawa kwa wanyongia wanyanya siki Aviongozi vijana umepewa siti Mungano unalindwa bado kofiti Na mdi mkudodo manka ulivo wishi Wanja wandegi umesha ungezwa Treni ya umemifry over pia Madini na wanyama vina lindwa Tege kumina moja zija nunuliwa Babu Asanteni sana wajuku zangu. Nimewaelewa. <laughs> na haya yote mlionieleza. Ni matokeo mazuri ya ukusanyaji wa kodi. Na usimamizi imara wa fedha za Tanzania. Naomba nipongeze serikali ya awamu ya tano. Jajoni, ongereni sana. Lakini pia na furahi sana. Sasa nasikia aki sawa angalau sasa nasikia hivi. Nasikia hivi. Hakuna mambo ya ujanja ujanja. Hakuna mambo ya ujanja ujanja. Hata kidogo. Kusema kwamba mwenye fedha ni wana haki asiyo kuwa na fedha hana haki haya mambo hakuna hata kidogo hakuna hata kidogo Kwa hiyo mtu atavuna aricho kipani nataka waelewe hivyo na watambue hivyo katika nchi hii la mwisho angalau usiku umuhimu sana naomba nipongeze sana serikali ya awamu ya tano ambayo inaongozwa na jemedani nadhani wenyewe mnamfahamu kwa kuweza kutoa kipa umbele kwa vijana katika katika nafasi za uongozi ile tabia ya kusema huyu mtoto wa fulani huyu mtoto wa fulani ah sasa naona hakuna sasa hizi hata watu wa vijijini huko wana, wanapata fursa ya kuweza kuwa viongozi mfano mdogo tu kijana mmoja wa kijijini hapa bwana 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 makonda ni mkuu wa mkoa wa Dar na anafanya kazi nzuri sana kwa hiyo salamu hizi nitazipeleka kwa wazee wenzangu mzee Karume na mzee Kawawa kuwaeleza kwamba sasa angalau kivuli changu kinaishi Tanzania yale yote niliyokuwa natamani yafanyike sasa yanafanyika chini ya serikali ya awamu ya tano inayoongozwa na kijana wangu John kwa hiyo ni waache wachukuu zangu muendelee kulijenga taifa letu tukufu la Tanzania ni wajibu kumshukuru baba Nyerere kwa furaha shangwe pia vigeregere Mwalimu babu yetu tunakukumbuka Mwalimu baba yetu tunakushukuru Ni wewe ulieleta mani Tanzania Ni wewe ulieleta upendo Tanzania Asante Celebrate Kipindi cha darasa online kimeletwa kwenu na chuo kikuu cha sauti Mbeya. Habari za muda huu karibuni katika kipindi chetu pendwa cha darasa mtandao kupitia mwalimu Kohelet Luhwagu, mwalimu wa somo la Kiswahili. Tupo leo kwa ajili ya kuangazia somo la Kiswahili kidato cha sita. Na katika Kiswahili tutajifunza mada kuu ya tafsiri na ukarimani na mada ndogo tafsiri mada hii ni mada yenye changamoto sana miongoni mwa wanafunzi na wasomaji wengine sasa leo tumekuja kwa ajili ya kuondoa hizo changamoto unazo kumbana nazo kupitia mada ya tafsiri 
na tunataraji baada ya kipindi hiki uweze kufasili neno tafsiri uweze kujua mbinu za kutafsiri aina za tafsiri lakini ikiwezekana uweze kujua dhima za tafsiri na tuchambue kidogo dhana ya matini kwa kwanza tuanze kwa kufasili neno tafsiri unaelewa nini kuhusu neno tafsiri neno tafsiri kwa lugha ya Kiingereza tunaita translation tafsiri ni mchakato wa kuhawirisha mawazo yaliyo katika maandishi kutoka lugha chanzi kwenda lugha lengwa bila kupotosha maana ni mchakato ni mchakato wa kuhawirisha mchakato wa kuhawirisha mawazo yaliyo katika maandishi yaliyo katika maandishi kutoka lugha chanzi kutoka lugha chanzi kwenda lugha lengwa bila kupotosha maana mchakato wa kuhawirisha mawazo yaliyo katika maandishi kutoka lugha chanzi kwenda lugha lengwa pasipo kupotosha maana ili iwe tafsiri lazima iwe katika maandishi kama haipo katika maandishi hii inakuwa si tafsiri tena bali ni kitu kingine hususa ni ukarimani na lazima mawazo hayo yahawilishwe kutoka lugha chanzi au kutoka lugha moja kwenda lugha nyingine. Ukiangalia maana yetu ya tafsiri utabaini kuna mambo kadha wa kadha ambayo inabidi uyafahamu. Jambo la kwanza kuhawilisha au uhawilishaji. Neno uhawilishaji kama linavyotumika katika tafsiri hutumiwa likiwa na maana ya kuhamisha mawazo kutoka lugha moja kwenda lugha nyingine kuhamisha mawazo kuhamisha mawazo kutoka lugha moja kwenda lugha nyingine mathalan inaweza kuwa kutoka lugha ya Kiswahili kwenda lugha ya Kiingereza kitendo cha kuhamisha mawazo hayo tunasema umehawilisha umefanya kitu kinachoitwa uhawilishaji lakini kuna lugha chanzi. Lugha chanzi, wengine wanaita chasiri. Lugha chanzi ni lugha iliyotumika kuandikia matini kabla ya mchakato wa kutafsiri. Kabla ya mchakato wa kutafsiri. Lugha iliyotumika kuandikia matini kabla ya mchakato wa kutafsiri. Kwa mfano, una tafsiri kutoka Kiingereza kwenda lugha ya Kiswahili. Kiingereza itakuwa ni lugha chanzi. Alafu Kiswahili itakuwa ni lugha lengwa. Tumepewa pia hapa neno lugha lengwa. Lugha lengwa wakati mwingine wanaita matini ya tafsiri. Lugha lengwa ni ile lugha iliyotumika kuandikia matini baada ya mchakato wa kutafsiri. Ukishafanya mchakato wa kutafsiri ile lugha ya tafsiri ndo wakati mwingine tunaita lugha lengwa baada ya mchakato au baada ya mchakato wa kutafsiri Kwa mfano umetafsiri kutoka lugha ya Kiswahili kwenda lugha ya Kiingereza Kiswahili ni lugha chanzi na Kiingereza inakuwa ni lugha lengwa Kwa mfano Kwa mfano umepewa neno la Kiswahili umepewa neno la Kiswahili wanasema ukistaajabu ya Musa ukistaajabu ya Musa utaona 
ya Firauni. Ni methali hiyo ukistaajabu ya Musa utaona ya Firauni. Kwa Kiingereza tunasema wonders never end. Wonders never end. Mwingine atasema maajabu kanini tunasema wonders never end. Hii Kiswahili hii ni lugha chance na hii Kiingereza hii ni lugha lengwa. Lakini pia kuna kitu kinaitwa matini chanzi. Matini chanzi ni ile matini iliyo katika lugha yake ya awali kabla ya mchakato wa kutafsiri. Kabla ya mchakato wa kutafsiri ile matini iliyo katika lugha yake ya awali kabla ya mchakato wa kutafsiri lakini pia kuna matini lengwa matini lengwa ni ile matini iliyotumika ni ile matini ambayo ipo katika lugha baada ya mchakato wa kutafsiri ile matini inayopatikana baada ya mchakato wa kutafsiri inaitwa matini lengwa maana yake haipo katika lugha yake ya awali baada wakati mwingine inaitwa matini ya tafsiri mpaka hapo tumesha angalia dhana ya tafsiri na baadhi ya mambo yanayopatikana katika tafsiri tuangalie mfasiri kama kuna kitu kinaitwa tafsiri basi kuna mfasiri tafsiri ni mchakato lakini mfasiri ni mtu kwa ujumla tunasema mfasiri ni mtu anayehawilisha mawazo kutoka lugha moja kwenda lugha nyingine iliyo katika maandishi mtu huyu ni mtu anayehawilisha mawazo mtu anayehawilisha mawazo kutoka lugha chanzi kwenda lugha lengwa au kutoka lugha moja kwenda lugha nyingine tunamuita mfasiri na sio mtafsiri anaitwa mfasiri si kila mtu anaweza kuwa mfasiri ili uwe mfasiri lazima uwe na sifa bainifu tunaita sifa za mfasiri bora sifa za mfasiri bora si kila mtu anaweza kafanya au anaweza kahaulisha mawazo kutoka lugha moja kwenda nyingine lazima awe na sifa bainifu kama ifuatavyo moja awe na ujuzi wa lugha mbili au zaidi awe na ujuzi wa lugha mbili au zaidi hususa ni zile anazo shughulika nazo yani lugha chanzi na lugha lengwa awe na ujuzi wa lugha mbili au zaidi hususa ni zile anazo shughulika nazo yani lugha chanzi na lugha lengwa nyingine ajue utamaduni wa jamii mbalimbali ajue utamaduni wa jamii mbalimbali utamaduni ni mila desturi na maisha ya jamii fulani jamii hii inaishije lazima